For a training program, Juan rides his bike at an average rate of 5.7 minutes per mile. Which function M models the number of minutes it will take Juan to ride X miles at this rate? So, so I like to look at it. So, okay, so it's 5.7 minutes for every one mile. So if I asked you, how long would it take Juan to ride three miles? I would say, okay, I'm multiplying this side by three, right? Multiplying that by three to get our three miles. And that means we would need to multiply this by three, 5.7 minutes. It's three times the distance. It's going to take three times the amount of time. So that's with a real number three. What if I didn't know the number? What if I said it's X? It's the same thing. It's X many miles. It's X number of times longer. So it's X number of times longer in time as well. That is represented here as D, 5.7 times X. None of these others would apply in the first one. The number of miles divided by 5.7? No, you're not relating that at all. Adding 5.7, subtracting 5.7? No. This relationship, 5.7 times X, because it is 5.7 minutes for each mile, so we multiply by the number of miles to get how many minutes it took one. I hope you enjoyed that today. If it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.